Sure, Giandra LaBeouf, Bad Culture TV. Hello, hello. I'm so happy to talk to you and I'm so happy that the show is back because we have all been an Angelica or a Tommy at some point in our childhood lives. <laughs> still might be a little bit, still might be a little bit of Angelica. When you, um, Cheryl, beginning with you, a whole new generation of kids get to enjoy and get to enjoy the show. What are you most, or how do you feel on the eve of it being released? A little nervous, a little excited, a little both? How, what's, how are you feeling as you wait for the start? Yeah, you, you pegged that. Um, I am a little tiny bit nervous just, to, just because, because of all this excitement that's brewing inside. And I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very thrilled to be able to experience what the fans of today, how they're going to receive it. And I think they're going to love it. I, I think they're going to absolutely love it. It looks so, so beautiful, so vibrant, but we still have all those signature characters that we've enjoyed. Well, the older people enjoyed and now their kids get to enjoy it along with them. Um, E.G., heading over to you with, with, little, with little ones watching a show like this. What do you, how do you think kids receive it? When you've talked to kids or interacted with kids, what, what have they ever told you about Rugrats? I mean, kids lose it over Rugrats. Like I was telling everybody, I was in the elevator with a bunch of boys one day, these two cool for school preteen boys and they were acting very cool. And I turned around, I went, could, uh, could you please push the number three, please? And they all just like flipped their heads around and they oh. went from these two cool for school boys to the sweetest, chuckling down to earth sweethearts and I just that's the reaction we're gonna get today from kids because kids are you know they're gonna relate to everything about the rugrats they're gonna relate to all the funny stuff and the points of view of the rugrats so I just think I'm so excited for the new generation of kids to get to have rugrats in their home now for sure one of my favorite things about all of the characters, the younger characters, Cheryl, is their ability to mispronounce words. And I wonder as an adult, when you see the word, like in the, uh, one of the new episodes, it's worm of something. Wormioliosis. Wormioliosis. Yes. When you see that on the page, do you know how to pronounce it that way? Or does it just come organically? Like, I'm just gonna make up some kind of word to go with this. Oh, no, no, I don't make up the words. It, it, you know, I take what the writers give me because um, so wormioliosis, that's it's kind of fun to say wormioliosis, <laughs> it's kind of fun. So, yeah, the, the writers do a great job in, in making all of these malaprops. I, I think that's what it is. Is that right, E.G., when you have a malaprop? Um, yeah, I think sometimes, yeah, sometimes well, what they're doing is they're bringing back from the olden days and sometimes... Uh, but sometimes I was able to make up some like, you know, sometimes there were just like uh, words like that's what we're supposed to do that. It's not uh, we're not supposed to like sometimes it just comes out weird. And I studied a lot of kids and they're mispronouncing words. But then what happened was the writers started to really pay attention and they started finding um, a lot of they found a lot of funny ones and we found some and then now I just find the writers are just coming up with the, the most hilarious ones like I love oh for feet sakes like it's just so funny you know so they're they're brilliant and they're coming up with them but I think when for me when I do the voice for Tommy he just naturally says things wrong and so that establishes like how I'm going to say certain words and then the writers take that and run with it. You know I always found that kind of empowering I guess for for children because they're not going to get it right all the time and they get to hear and there's nothing wrong with that. And then as you get older and you learn and you learn how to say the real versions of wormy oleosis or, yeah. or whatever. Uh, lastly, Cheryl, lots of little girls have been in, in Angelica at, at some point. Do you ever get stories from fans reaching out to you telling you their best Angelica story? Uh, actually, you know what? N not really. I just get a lot of, a lot of parents would tell me that we use Angelica in our house as how, as an example of how not to act. Mm -hmm. so I, I would get that a lot. And That's sometimes, awesome. sometimes they say, I don't let my kids watch it and watch Rugrats because you're too mean. So oh, like, what can I you, say there, you know, or you can say to your kid. <laughs> Text in or enter my baby girls. You're acting like an Angelica right now. I know. So, so that's, that's what I used to get. 
That's awesome. Thank you so much, ladies, for your time. Uh, so excited for folks to see it. It's awesome. It looks great. And you guys are wonderful as usual. Thank you so, oh, thank you so much. Take care.